Well, some other things we can get out of this architectural model. Um, we need to uh, look at levels and sheets and grids, sheet names, things like that. Um, some of this you can get from you know, their PDF if they sent you a PDF set, which brings up a good point. Uh, some architects are not great about getting us current PDF sets of their entire set. They'll send us bits and pieces, but as you know, we need all of it. We need sections, elevations, plans, details um, to do our design. One nice thing here is if you have their Revit model, you can generate your own architectural PDF from this. It's typically more current than anything else they send us. Well, how do we do that? We print it. For example, go up to File, Print. You can also get to it on the very top quick access toolbar here. Look at this. This is called a quick, quick access toolbar. Up here, there's a print icon. Click on print. Now, I had previously printed to the Konica. I want to print this to PDF. Okay, Bluebeam PDF. Some people may have... Um, the uh, cute PDF still, either one works. We want to set up what size sheet. Now, that's a good point. What size sheet do we have? Well, when we clicked on this before, it told us a D size. Now, then we have to figure out what is a D size. Well, it ends up being 30 by 42. So we need to find out what sheet size you have. So now we can go to print, Bluebeam. Let's go with a pre-made, oh, D size, here we go. This is built into the architectural model. This is not our MFIA standards because we're in the architectural model. D size, full. What do we want to print? There's saved names for different sets. So go to there. You can see here they have 50% set CAD plans, ZD set, floor plans. Let's uh, see if we can find something fairly recent like a permit set. This is a saved set that we can easily get to. Now this lists all the sheets and views within the model. There's hundreds and hundreds of views and sheets. Well we don't typically print like a 3D view or an, a drafting view separately, we print sheets. So we can uncheck this views so that we only see a list of the sheets. Now this permit set has most of these sheets checked, as you can see. So it's a, pretty much a full set except for a couple um, sheets here. So we'll just print this. So we're going to print this permit set. Okay. Now, the default is create separate files for every sheet. Well, we don't want that. We want a combined multiple selected views sheets into a single file. Hit OK. I'm not going to do it now because it would take about 10 minutes to print this PDF. It's a time intensive operation to print uh, a large plan set like this. But if you wanted the PDF, you do it, go get some coffee, come back, um, and you'll have a PDF set from the actual raw Revit model, which is very helpful for coordination. So that's, that's one thing I do with a new Revit model.